Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Scorpio. So if you're a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Scorpio, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Rose can get reversed, so take how it resonates. So, this is going to be a no contact, no communication reading. The one you are not talking to right now. star could be dealing with an Aquarius this person sees you as someone who's healing you're healing from the disappointments they have caused you the manipulation the self-sabotage whatever you have dealt with you are trying to move on you're trying to heal for some of you you could have been dealing with someone who was very non-committal or they were in and out hot and cold and this person like there was definitely some sort of mental games mental manipulation lies something and this person sees you as someone who is just almost like you're getting over all of that. You are accepting that this is what happened. This is what this person did. You are accepting and you're getting over it. This person feels like you are extremely disappointed with this connection, extremely disappointed with whatever has happened here. They know that they like they have disappointed you. Whatever they have done, they have disappointed you. For some of you, this person, no matter what kind of lies or manipulations this person did, they know it's out in the open. You already have figured out everything or you already know the truth. The truth has come out. So there's no hiding it. And that's why they will, they will have, I mean, they don't have any option but to just let you heal, let you go through that. It's like they have no place to run away from what they have done here. Yeah, see five and six of swords, ace of swords in the mix. So what came out for some of you, the truth that came out could be that this person was non-committal or they were uh, they were dating someone else or they didn't want commitment. They were a player. Something like this came out in the open. And now this person is like, they are, they are like, they know why you're being so silent. They know you are healing from this. You are quiet because you need healing. You are quiet because you are extremely disappointed. The truth really hurt you. For some of you, this person knows that you still have feelings for them. You care about them. You have feelings for them. With the two of cups standing uh, behind him. You do care about them. You do have feelings for them. But they, at the same time, they don't know. They know that they have disappointed you. So there's no sh turning that around for them. So it's for some of you, it's very possible this person is accepting that they are not they were not being honest or they were not being a good person to you. Oh, there are too many. Oh, there are too many. of wands pages of messengers so yeah for some of you this person does they do want to talk to you ten of wands four of pentacles this four of pentacles could very well be this person's energy um or your energy here as well you holding back from them is making this person feel more guilty they are already feeling some sort of guilt because of whatever they have done. Like they are ashamed, they are guilty. But the more you hold back from them, the more you don't say anything. It's almost like this person, like you went very silent. Once the truth came out, you just became very quiet. Instead of just lashing out on them, fighting with them or arguing with them or, you know, like creating some sort of drama, which this person expected. Uh, instead, you became so quiet. Instead, you withdrew from this person. And because you did that, now this person is feeling much more ashamed and uh, guilty here. It's like if you took out your anger on this person or if you, when you found out the truth about them, if you took that frustration out on them, 
they would have felt less guilty. If you said something to this person, like mean things or disrespectful things, it would make them feel less guilty. It's almost like someone who's feeling very ashamed and guilty because you didn't say anything to them, because you were being so quiet. It's like, you know, the, the, uh, the silence before the storm. And it's like, for some of you, this person is just, they think that maybe you're silent because you're eventually going to erupt. So it's like someone, you're like a ticking bomb. And this person is like trying to understand, like, like what, like they are feeling a lot of guilt here the more you hold back from them the longer this period is the more this person is feeling that guilt the more they are ashamed of it Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Hierophant. For some of you, ooh, look at that. Two of Cups, Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, you were married to this person, engaged to this person in a long-term commitment with this person here. And especially if you were married to this person, this person was doing something they shouldn't be. That's the truth that came out. But the reason this person didn't time, have time for you or weren't giving time to you is because they had someone else or they were up to something that they shouldn't be. They were sneaking behind your back and they were lying about it. So yeah, there's feelings here. There's feelings on both sides. And that's the reason why this person is feeling guilty and ashamed. Someone who doesn't care about you at all, doesn't have any feelings, will not feel ashamed or guilty. Right. So yeah. Yeah, you were married to this person and you were extremely disappointed. You might have left this person, you know, like literally just walked away, walked out of that house if you were living under the same roof or something like that, especially if you're married, right? So you just walked out of that house. That's what I got randomly. So take it if it resonates. And now this person is they're feeling guilty. They're feeling ashamed. It's like something, this could be very specific. Like something came out, something this person was doing and you figured it out and instead of creating any ruckus, you just left. Whether it's energetically, whether it's physically, you just withdrew. And that's what's making this person feel very nervous, ashamed, guilty. Because they know they have hurt you. And it's like this person doesn't know what to do with your silence, what to do with you being quiet with them. You not reacting, you not... Uh, going like going crazy on them they don't know what to do with it Swords, nine of cups in reverse, seven of wands, queen of swords, four of cups, death. Well, that's your energy. Could be dealing with another Scorpio. Some of you, this person, yeah. You're, you're ignoring this person for some of you. a lot of things to say to this person especially if this person was like they cheated on you they were lying behind they were sneaking and lying about it you do have a lot of things to say of course you you will like you right you are frustrated so you do have stuff to say to this person but you could be just holding it back because you're that disappointed 
see you you not uh, you fighting back from this person or you not giving to this person is definitely making this person feel very unhappy they're very unhappy here They're very sad and unhappy. And for some of you, this person could be, look at that page of wands, emperor, uh, page or knight of wands on the emperor. This person could be realizing that they need to grow up. They need, they need to change. They need to evolve. They need to do things differently. Like, just asking for your forgiveness or saying sorry will not do. Especially for some of you, if this has repeated, if this is a pattern this person has repeated for some of you, they have done it more than once. So, of course, you're not going to just forgive them over and over and over, right? And that's, that's, uh, uh, like, that's what might have happened. Like, you figured out this person was lying about something, you forgave them. Yeah, you, uh, you said something to them. You were mad at them. You were angry at them. You got frustrated at them. You said some things. And you just gave this person another chance. But this time it's different. Somehow this feels like this time it's different. This time you're not saying anything. Even though you might have a lot of things to say. You're not saying anything. You're just quiet. You're just ignoring them. And that is making this person feel imbalanced, unhappy. And that is giving this person the impression that they need to change here. They really need to change. If they don't, then... Well, uh, this person is realizing you might not sh fight with them. You might not shout at them. You might not uh, like fight with them anymore. No arguments, no drama, no fighting. Nothing. You, you're just going to leave. Yeah, four and nine of cups, five of cups in the mix. Hmm. They're very unhappy though. With the nine of cups and the seven of wands, especially with your boundaries. And the reason you have boundaries up with this person here is because simply nine of wands to the seven of wands. You feel like this person, like you can't trust them right now. Could be a very charming person. They are definitely a charmer here. Could be someone also younger than you as well. Or there's, there, either there's an age difference or there's a maturity difference here. And that's the reason why this person, like, you're just guarding yourself from this person. This person feels like you're just holding back. You are, like, you have this huge wall that you are using to protect yourself. Two of Cups again at the bottom of the deck with the Queen of Cups. So that's definitely you. The Queen of Cups is you. You are in water sign. And the Three of Swords. Yeah, Three of Swords. So this person does want to apologize. They do want to apologize for the pain they have caused you. This is the pain they have caused you and they do want to apologize for that. Pain, heartbreak, putting you on a third party. You could have been someone who trusted blindly, like you blindly trusted this person, even though uh, this person has not given you reasons to trust, you still trusted them.
this person knows they need to stop juggling they need to if they want balance back into this connection if they want to move to karma waters want to heal this connection then they will have to apologize and truly apologize just not like saying sorry they will have to make amends here they will have to come back changed or different not just i'm sorry or an apology you will not you will not you might not listen to that it's not like you will not but this person is like you might not listen to that this is someone who's, who is afraid that they have pushed you too far here or they have taken uh like you have given them given them enough chances and they might have run out of those chances it's like they have run out of luck it's not just they have run out of chances this person feels like they have really run out of luck this time five 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 there and yeah five talks about change they need to change that if they want you back they have to change okay time the two of cups is showing up so there is love your queen of cups eight of wands yeah this is someone who wants to talk they want to apologize but some of you this person knows that they might have to like do something big to gain back your trust It's like there's no option left there's no option left here two of ones in reverse seven of pentacles in reverse chariot this is what i'm getting for some of you this person is afraid that they have got karma coming for them because they got a good person because they took advantage of a good person they have karma coming and it's simply you might do that tit for tat thing here this person is uh, afraid that you might do the tit for tat like i've given you enough chances and I don't want to do this anymore. I don't care how much you're apologizing, how much you have changed. It's simple. I don't trust you anymore. I don't want to do anything with you anymore. This is what this person is afraid it's going to happen. really doubt this person's intentions like they uh, did they ever have good intentions did they ever want to invest in this connection that's what you doubt of course you feel cheated betrayed abandoned eight of swords Oh, look at that. Emperor Empress. Judgment. Oh, this is a transformation. You are going through a major transformation, a major awakening, change. 
because the judgment can talk about epiphany's realizations so it's like a shift of energy look at that shift of energy here this is a completely different energy feeling left out in the cold feeling abandoned feeling stuck overthinking feeling not good enough to realizing your worth realizing you deserve much more than that you want much more than that why should you settle for less why should you just be happy with breadcrumbs or why should you be happy with someone just doing the same thing over and over again so you feel like whatever whoever you used to be you are not the same person anymore you could be still going through the transformation of this transformation has already happened You might have had some deep-seated abandonment issues as well here. You might have had those abandonment issues, fear of rejection. And that's the reason why it's very possible you might have uh, given this person more than one chance. Because you were afraid to lose them. You were afraid of being left out, like being alone, having no one. You were just afraid of that. But that's what you have changed about yourself. You've realized about yourself. So you have matured. You have changed. And for some of you with the page of wands and the emperor, this person is changing as well. Or they have realized they need to change. And that's the reason why you be like very silent or quiet here not doing anything because you're healing yourself and the more you heal yourself the more you understand your worth you understand that you deserve better than whatever this is The reason you're not talking to this person, you're not communicating with this person here is because you don't want drama. You don't want to fight. You don't want to argue. You don't want to have any conflicts. You don't have energy for that. It's like you have talked to this person before. You have told them before that whatever they were doing, it's not right or it's, it's they are hurting you with their actions. They are being unfair. They're, they're mistreating you. You have said all of that. It's like everything you wanted to say to this person, you've already said, uh, said that in the past more than once. But it's like no matter what you said, it just, this person was not listening. So you have run out of words. If someone has been doing the same thing and every time you're telling that person that, letting that person know that they are hurting you, that's not, that's not how they should be treating you. It's like, I've already told them. That means they don't want to listen. And that's the reason why you could be holding back with the Four of Pentacles. Because you're just tired of telling this person the same thing over and over again. And this person repeating the same thing. So you don't want no more drama, arguments, conflict. You don't want to fight with this person anymore. Priestess, for some, for uh, some of you, the reason you don't, you don't want, you're not talking to this person, you're holding back definitely with the Four of Pentacles, is because you know, for some of you, with the High Priestess and the Page of Cups, this person will be back asking for your apology, asking, sorry, back with an apology, asking for your forgiveness. They will be back. Because this person has done it before. Intuitively, you just know this person will be back.
came out in reverse. Ten of Wands. Could be dealing with a Virgo. These are too many. Come on. Okay. Justice at the bottom of the deck again. Libra. But somebody, this person will break the silence with the Hobbit in reverse. They will. Hi, priestess. These are counterparts to each other. Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, for some of you, this person. Yeah, they want to tell you the truth. They want to um, talk, communicate. They want to meet you in the middle. See, but this is what I'm getting here. For some of you, you might have already... You, you are much more like in a... Adva not advanced exactly, but you are in an advanced energy here than this person. It's like you have learned lessons. You have understood. You have learned your lessons. But this person has not yet learned their lessons here. They still have lessons to learn. They still need to understand a lot of things, change a lot of things within themselves. It's going to be... Uh, this person knows, with the Ten of Wands, this person knows it's going to be a very difficult thing to convince you that... They want another chance. And this time they have changed. This time they're different. But here's the thing. When this person comes to you, intuitively you will be able to pick up. You will be able to pick up if this person has actually changed or it's just BS. You will be able to figure that out. But yeah, this person has still some evolving to do. Some changes need to happen with this person here. This person might have been, for some of you, they were pretending to be an emperor. When in reality, they were the page of wands or the knight of wands. They were pretending to be your match, pretending to be mature. That could have been the truth that came out, that this person was just, they had a mask on. Temperance here. I was trying to look at the outcome. Devil and the temperance. Yes, there's imbalance here. There's codependency here. As I said, for some of you have abandonment issues. You are an overthinker. That overthinker. That's the reason why you have given this person one too many chances. Even though this person was not like it's okay to give someone a chance, provided that they are actually showing you signs that they are changing. But when someone is not changing, you shouldn't be just giving them chances one after another. Like they will change, they will change. You can't have that blind, you can't go on with that blind hope or faith that they are going to change. So with the devil and the temperance, things can be healed here. It's not like things cannot be worked out. Ace of Cups. Yeah, look at that as the outcome. Aces talks about new beginning. Ace of Cups definitely talks about a new beginning. Whatever this third party situation is, this imbalance is, this can be worked upon. This can be healed. Very possible this person was, you were the one who was the overgiver in this connection. Could have been the chaser as well. Because you had this fear of abandonment or rejection, you were constantly chasing this person for their attention. For some of you, it's very possible your intuition might have already 
given you clear signs that this person was up to something but it's like you, you refused to believe that you refuse to believe that you are just wearing this um like your eyes were not open but now it's not the same thing anymore with the high priestess coming out on myself each day so I can come back to you no one makes me feel the way you do you are the best I ever had despite this distance I feel like our souls still remain intertwined so you both could feel very telepathically connected to each other both pick up each other's energy I'm not the same person yeah I'm working on myself so I can come back to you. I'm not the same person. Yeah, see, I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. That was about all this reading was. I'm moving on with my life. For some of you, you might choose to move on from this person. Just because the outcome is this can be healed doesn't mean you will have to choose that. You always have a choice. starting to understand our connection so the cards that came out is i'm not available and i know i was a distraction from your pain mm. so yeah some you could have been chasing this person with because you know a lot of times this this person was avoidant they were avoidant and you were anxious so you were chasing this person Don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. Drops and alcohol. For some of you, this person, I was just trying to understand what this card was trying to say to me. And I was shuffling the deck. What came out is drugs and alcohol. For some of you, this person does use. They do have substance issue. And they use it to distract from some sort of pain they have past pain past disappointment they have they use that to uh, distract themselves that could be what the truth was came out as well like this is what you found out about this person like they are using you as a form of distracting from their pain they also use uh, substance to distract from their pain They were using you to distract from the pain. I can't stop thinking about you. And the reason you were just putting up with it, even though you have feelings, is because, yeah, because you were scared of rejection. Look at that. Look at the synchronicity. Yeah, see, don't put up with my BS. You were just putting up with this person's BS for the longest time. You were putting up with the drama the longest time. You're just putting up with all of this because you were just scared of rejection. That is why you're just going with it. Instead of putting your foot down and saying no. Yeah, I'm better with my mind than my heart. Hence the mind games and the five of swords. All right. Well, that's your reading, Scorpio. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.